Hey guys, Hui Raptor here with a new video. In this video, we will assemble the X gantry assembly. Grab the two plates and both B3 and B4 bags. Follow the manual on how to assemble this. Get a sharpie and make a mark on the thinnest side of the eccentric nuts. This way you will know how the eccentric nuts are during the adjustment. screw, the eccentric nut or the spacer, washer, the wheel and the lock nut. Assemble all four wheels. Tighten the lock nuts by hand, just a little for now. Get the smaller screws that will secure the plates to the profiles and insert them. You need to place them before tightening the wheels. Now tighten the wheels. Now rotate each wheel one by one and check if they turn smoothly. If you notice any wheel not turning freely or if it has a sand feeling when turning, you will need to fix it. In my case, I found one wheel with a sand feeling. The community guide suggests you and tightening the wheel to find a sweet spot where the wheel doesn't lock or has a sand feeling and at the same time doesn't wobble. In my case, I decided to open the wheel and inspect it. If you decide to do this, use the flat tip Allen key to push the bearing out, but be careful. Push the inner ring of the bearing and not the shield or you will damage it. Inside, there is a shim which is the same one you find in the bags.
This shim is one millimeter thick. Then I inspected the wheel inside and found plastic debris from the wheel itself. The debris is responsible for the sand peeling. If you have the same issue, just get a small sharp knife and carefully remove the debris. Then rectify the sides inside. Clean it up. At the end, clean it with a cloth and remove any particle. Assemble the wheel again and install it. In my case, cleaning the debris worked and the wheel is now running smooth. If this does not work in your case, please follow the community guide for other recommendations. Don't install the lead screw nut at the moment. Save everything in the back for later. Get a piece of tape to secure the screws. Grab another C-beam and use it to adjust the eccentric nuts on both plates. All four wheels must be in contact with the profile and run smooth. You cannot have any wobble on the plates. Now, grab both 2040 profiles. Do this step on your flat surface. Assemble both plates to the profiles, but don't tighten them yet.
flat surface will help to maintain the plate square. Keep checking the squareness while tightening the plates. All done! Good job! We will continue in the next video.